Hi, my name is Landon Erb, and I am applying for the school counseling position at Canal Winchester High School. This video is a way for me to answer the questions you have asked on the application, starting with, why do you believe you will be a good fit at Canal Winchester? So as I started doing more and more research on Canal Winchester School District, I was really struck by the overlap between my own personal values and the values of the district. The mission, vision, and academic objectives, all centering on empowering students, just seemed like stuff that uh, school counselors might have had some involvement in, in building. And even if school counselors weren't involved, it's honestly still amazing because to me, it seems like Canal Winchester has an environment or a culture that allows school counselors to pursue programming that will help make their students successful. So definitely excited about that. Um, number two, what can you bring to the position? I myself am very data oriented. I have a data sort of driven mindset. I also have passion for trauma informed approach with students. I got to do a professional development presentation at my internship site this year on ACEs, adverse childhood experiences and their negative impact on students and also how we as educators can counteract those impacts. So definitely a passion area of mine. I also bring a college admissions background. I have six years of experience in college admissions at The Ohio State University, a liberal arts college and an online hybrid careers focused school. So I'm very confident that I could advise and coach your students on post-secondary planning as well. Finally, number three, please share real examples of how you empower all students for success. Honestly, I, I think it takes a village um, to encourage diversity, equity, and inclusion in any school. But for me at my internship site, I've been able to run my own needs assessment. I was able to identify some gaps between certain groups. For example, girls were scoring much lower than boys. Our LGBTQ students were scoring almost a full standard deviation below the average. Um, and a few labs were scoring lower than other labs as well. So I was able to build multiple small groups to address sort of those deficiencies and to try to bring those scores up. And in one of my labs, I actually did see a 10% growth in overall needs assessment scores. So that's positive. Would love to do more tier one interventions, but um, definitely a passion area of mine is empowering all students for success. I thank you for the opportunity to uh, do this application and hope to interview with you soon.